What is going on my hustlers? Welcome back for another quick video. This is talking about a SPAC. If you don't know what a SPAC is, it's basically uh, a, a way that a company can go public a whole lot faster than having to officially file to go public and do all that rigmarole and paperwork and blah, blah, blah. They can just merge with another company that's already on uh, the, the, the stock market and they merge and then that company becomes that company and here you are. And so you say, well, why do companies do that? Because they just want to get listed on the stock market quicker. They want to be able to go out there and raise that money a whole lot quicker than to have to go through all the filing process. And so what you have is these little no-name companies, or, or they're not really companies, they're just kind of placeholders that are $10 saying, you know, hey, if you want to merge with us, here we are. Uh, we got some money. We're ready. To, we're ready to merge with your company. We're ready to take your company public. And so, uh, this is basically rumor central. And so, the big one that's that's coming out right now is CCIV. And I'm sure that most of you have seen the commercials for Lucid Air. Uh, you've seen it. The cars are just ridiculously awesome it took uh it's the the person who is the lead designer on the tesla model s so the highest level tesla that person is now uh, involved with lucid motor so it's basically picking up where tesla left off and so the baseline lucid air car is basically the tesla model s and it only goes up from there and so you're dealing with very very high-end cars here and so uh, their their local company uh, to America. They're based in Arizona, and I know that we think, man, Teslas are already fifty, sixty thousand dollars. Who's gonna Who's gonna get more than that? Well, I mean, remember ten years ago, like, who's gonna drive a BMW? Who's gonna drive a Lexus? Who's gonna drive a Porsche? And yet you saw them all over the place. And now you're seeing Teslas all over the place. And so when Teslas become more and more common, I think you're gonna see people say, well, I want something, I still want electric because I like all the features, I like how fast they can go, um, but I want something more. And so Tesla or uh, Lucid Air is gonna say, okay, well, we got something that has twice the battery life and twice the horsepower. And you know, look at how luxury this is and look at how awesome. And supposedly they got some technology that Tesla doesn't even have yet, that's just gonna make it even better and better and better. And so, as I say all that, the rumor is that CCIV is going to merge and become a SPAC with Lucid Air Car Company. And so, there are a lot of rumors swirling about this. Obviously, the stock has gone from $10 to $17 pretty much overnight. Um, and there are great, great technical videos out there uh, showing why. But I guess, uh, as me just trying to give you the, the Reader's Digest, um, I think this is, you know, 100% um, going to happen as fact as they're trying to make it happen. Now, is it, is it possible that there could be a kink in the system? That's always a possibility. But if I were a betting man, this is probably 90% sure it's a done deal. Um, I think there are enough work you know, there's enough uh, heads of the two companies that have been, uh, you know, verified to be on the same phone call or meet up at the same place that these rumors are happening. And so there is something definitely happening. Uh, even Lucid Air has now put out job searches for uh, companies that, that, are, that are public. And so Lucid Air is planning on going public, no doubt, but if they file it themselves, you're looking at a process of maybe six, seven, eight months, whereas if they do this SPAC, you'd be locked up in an official by March. And so I think they're definitely going the SPAC route. And again, there are, there are very, very strong links. And so again, could something happen? Yes, you could always have something happen. Anytime you have a big merger, you're always gonna have a lot of paperwork. But just like you've seen with so many other SPACs and so many other companies merging that when both sides wanna get it done, it's gonna get done. And I think that's what's gonna happen here. Um, again, it, worst case scenario, the stock comes tumbling back down to $10 and it merges with some other company one day and shoots back up to $14, $15. So really you're only out $2 a share um, over the long term if you're willing to wait that out. But again, I think that's only a 10% chance of that happening, 9% chance. This will become Lucid Motors by March, by April. The stock will go from $17 where it's at now, probably up to $35 to $38 based on you know kind of what the numbers are looking at. They're looking at getting these Lucid cars out by the end of uh, this year. And so I think they're looking at third quarter uh, around the fall. 
um, to get these cars out and running. I think it's going to be a huge company. And so I think this is a great opportunity uh, if you have not gotten in the EV space yet or if you want to diversify some of your EV stuff. If you're in Tesla, you're in Neo, you're in Lee, Xpeng, whatever, and you're like, hey, I want, a, I want an American company. This is your opportunity right here. CCIV, I see great, great, great things coming for them. And it's a stock that you should definitely check out. Again, just my opinion just some guy on YouTube. But hey, if you made it this far, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you want more uh, updates, I try to do a few videos a week and try to come out with all the research that I find. Uh, just give it to you again, hopefully in a read Reader's Digest version, trying to keep this video short. Here we are under six minutes. That's a world record. All right, y'all have a good day.